Hey guys, I am here and I wanted to talk about crawler tracks. Uh, well, there's quite a bit of people asking how do you set up a good crawler track and it's really a personal preference. Um, if you want something boring like pff, flat ground driving through the forest somewhere where there's nothing, um, that might be your thing or if you want to get vertical with the rocks, that could be your thing or you could have a mix of both. Um, right now I'm working on a crawler track that is right behind my garage and so far it's coming along pretty good. Alright, the first thing I wanted to talk about was the starting line. It's usually pretty flat. Sometimes you can have them start right on a boulder, try to crawl off the boulder and it makes it hard right off the get-go. Right here, I just have a little 30 degree ramp and I got these screwed down and uh, just to give you some oscillation and chances to hang up on stuff, I'm going to put some dirt in there so if they do get hung up, they don't have the wood underneath uh, for traction. Um, now as we move along, don't mind my drill there, it's obviously there for that. Um, I put a log, it's an old log, and the crust is coming off it, or the bark, and that might make it interesting because it shifts while you're trying to transfer from the log and I'll show you the drop here there's a decent drop from the log to the rocks uh, you don't want to go more than maybe three and a half four inches uh, for trying to climb up because that'll make it damn near impossible if you are climbing an incline that's about 50 degrees on an angle uh, you could have small small little uh, hangers for the tires just to get them climbing and hopping but as we move along here it gradually drops down I have an old fuel tank from a grain truck it drops down and it's a decent drop it's probably about three or four inches from here to here and then we got just something gradual to get them twisted up and and uh, it's a tight squeeze in there, like I'm touching everything with just my hand. Um, then we come up, we got another solid edge, but the, we got a really traction-y rock to come up on top of. And then it's kind of steps. And this is more so for uh, trying to catch up the guy's uh, center, get him high centered as he comes up. Now I have a 90 degree turn here. And as you can see, it's raised. I got an old wood spool. But to make the turn hard, I have it with some rocks here. Remember, I don't have too deep of a too deep of a hang up, just so there is actual a possible way to turn around up here. And then you drop off these rocks onto these, and you have a chance to correct yourself, because there is this to land on, but not very far. So you gotta gotta get lined up good. Then you come down here and you hit the brush, the underbrush. Now I'm still cleaning this all up. But basically you drive and you come up here and I got an old pallet bridge. So I put the brush there just because that is a big big drop, but it is really soft. Um so you cross this and there's an inch and a half to two inch gap. I'd say an inch and a half more so uh, between every plank which makes it kind of a bouncy ride and then once you come off that come down here I'm starting to build a pile to crawl over and then you loop back around and then there goes down in this there's a dip it's hard to see on camera but there's probably I'd say from here to here is a good foot incline then you turn and you start climbing the shelf rock and then back up and then you go back the way you came um, it's in progress right now but once I have it finished I'll bust the crawler out I'll talk about it and we will uh, definitely uh, have some fun with it now I'm trying to keep the little trees around the area just keep it kind of scenic so you as you can see it's good camera 
uh, footage. Good stuff to watch. But yeah, that's what I got so far. Let me know what you think in the likes or in the comments. Smash that like button. Uh, subscribe for more.